Okay, so use your sextant to measure the angle between the sun and the horizon. That's great. You look at your sextant and you're like, all right, it says something. Where am I? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to find out where you are using that value and the time at which you took that value. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. Now, there's really complicated ways that are super accurate. They're really awesome but they're also really complicated. And then that gets complicated and then it's just hard to do and tedious and who wants to do that? So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. It's a very, very simple way to get your latitude and your longitude. All you need is a sextant, a clock that's set to UTC time, which is also called Greenwich Mean Time, and a nautical almanac, which is a book. That's it, just those three things and you can figure out exactly where you are anywhere in the world. So I like to use noon sights because they're really straightforward and easy. The sun's at its highest, you measure with the sextant, you record the time that you measured it with the sextant, and that's it. Then you just go do a whole bunch of paperwork and math, and then out pops your coordinates. It's that simple. For this example, we're going to say that local noon, our local apparent noon, occurred at 3.37 p.m. When we did our sight with the sextant, the reading that we got was 67 degrees 44 minutes, okay? Okay, let's cut to the math part. So we're gonna find our longitude. Let's figure this one out. So your time that your local apparent noon happened for you was 3.37 p.m. When we transfer that into 24 hour time, we get that that was at 15.37 UTC. Now you're gonna take this time and you're gonna subtract it by 12 o'clock, so 12 noon. And that's gonna find your time difference from UTC. So if we take the 1537 and we subtract that by 12 and, none, and no minutes, we'll find that the time difference from our local apparent noon to, to Greenwich Mean Time's noon was 337. Now each hour is 15 degrees and each minute is 0.25 degrees. So you're going to multiply the hours by 15 and the minutes by 0.25. So the hour will be 3 times 15, which gives us 45. And then the minutes will be 37 times 0 0.25, which comes out to be 9.25. So that means 9 and a quarter degrees. So then I take the 0.25 part and multiply that by 60, and that tells me how many minutes it is. So that gives us that it's 9 degrees and 15 minutes. So I then add the hour part and the minute part together, and that will give me my east-west coordinates, so or our longitude. So that'll be 45 plus nine with 15 minutes will give us 54 degrees and 15 minutes west. Now, if we got a negative answer, it would be east because if our local apparent noon occurs before noon in Greenwich Mean Time, then when you do your initial subtraction, like say you had 10 o'clock UTC, or you know, 10 o'clock was your local apparent noon, minus 12 would have a minus two. So when you multiply minus two by 15, you're gonna get minus 30. So that would mean that you're 30 degrees east. So negative is east, positive is west. Okay, so there we got our longitude. That quick and easy, it was, it was so simple. And we know that we are at 54 degrees and 15 minutes west. Now we're gonna move on to latitude. Now with latitude, you use your sextant. And it's simple. People think you just sight the sun with the sextant and poof. No, it, it doesn't work that way. When you sight the sun with your sextant, you get a value, which doesn't really tell you very much. It just says that, hey, the sun's pretty high in the sky. That's it. It doesn't tell you where you are. To figure out where you are, you need to take that number and apply it to some math. So the first thing you need to know about the sun is it arcs over the sky every day. Now, during the summer, the sun comes up higher. During the winter, the sun comes down lower. What that means is that the sun is hot above or below the equator. And this variance in where it is directly over the Earth, it's called declination. Positive declination means that the sun is above the equator, so it's in the northern hemisphere. And negative declination means that the sun is below the equator, so it's down in the southern hemisphere. Now, where you find this value is in that book, The Nautical Almanac. And it has every single day, every hour, what the declination of the sun is. But generally, declination is a value that you're either going to add or subtract from your sextant reading. That's all it really comes out to be. 
So on to the math part. You're gonna take whatever reading you got from your sextant and subtract that from 89 degrees and 60 minutes. So you take 89 degrees and 60 minutes and subtract 67 degrees and 44 minutes. This is gonna give you a value of 22 degrees and 16 minutes. Now with declination, there's some stuff you gotta do. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere and you're north of the sun, so in other words, when you're sighting the sun, you're facing south while you're doing your noon sight, you're then going to add your declination. If you are looking north, you're gonna subtract your declination, okay? It might sound weird, but that's what it comes down to. Now, if you don't know why, or you're confused, or you're worried, or just whatever, do both, add and subtract. See which one's more likely to be where you are, because you have a general idea where you are, and one of them's gonna be obviously right, and the other one's going to be very obviously wrong. So in our example, we're in the Northern Hemisphere. We know that because we're in the Northern Hemisphere. We, we haven't sailed across the equator. 89 degrees, 60 minutes, minus 67 degrees, 44 minutes, gives us 22 degrees and 16 minutes. 22 degrees and 16 minutes, plus 23 degrees and 24.7 minutes, our declination, gives us 45 degrees and 40.7 minutes north because it's a positive value. If it's a negative value, it's south. Now, if we aren't sure and just for you know the sake of it, want to just be safe and do the other way. So subtract the declination just to see what value does that give and see if maybe it's a little closer to where we think we actually are. We'll do that. So 22 degrees and 16 minutes minus 23 degrees and 24.7 minutes gives us negative two degrees and 51.3 minutes. The negative two degrees means two south. So that means that our options are 45 degrees and 40.7 minutes north or two degrees, 51.3 minutes south. Ask yourself, am I sailing in the northern or southern hemisphere? And that right there tells you which one you're gonna be. Uh, unless you're sailing on the equator and like you've just crossed it and you're not sure, like that's the only times where there's like a little fudge factor and a little question as to which hemisphere. Otherwise, I mean, if you're at 45 degrees north, otherwise, if you're at 45 degrees north, you know it because you are up there. It's not the tropics. You're not at the equator. <laughs> you know where you are. So with this, super easily, you found that your coordinates from your noon site are 54 degrees and 15 minutes west and 45 degrees 40.7 minutes north. That's it. it. It's so simple. And being how it's simple, you can do it all the time. You can do it quickly. And it's just, it's so easy. You don't need tons of math, tons of brain power. You can just do it in a couple minutes. So that is the awesomeness of the noon site. And that's actually how I did all our calculations to position ourselves as we sailed across the ocean. That's, that is the math that I use. There are much more accurate ways of doing it that give you like a super precise location of where you exactly are. But the truth is, you don't need to know super duper exactly where you are. So GPS tells you like to the foot exactly where you are on this earth, which is really useful when you're like, you know, snaking your way through coral reefs or around rocks, like stuff like that. But when you're just generally navigating out in the ocean and it's big and open and nothing around, you don't need that kind of accuracy. So if you're within about 20 to 25 miles of where you actually are, you're doing pretty well. And it, it's super simple because when you're within 20 miles of a island, you see it. Like you see it on the horizon. You sail towards it, you have your charts of the place, you're gonna find the buoys and you're gonna come in on the channel. Like that's what you're gonna do. It, it's, you don't have to be as precise as GPS allows you to be. But out in the ocean, if you're off by about 20 miles, you're okay, you're fine. It's nice to be closer, but you're okay. It's not that big a deal. So I hope this video was super helpful for all of you and explained how we did our navigation. Now, there were times when we were out there and I couldn't get our noon sight, but I did need to know where we were. So for those, I would cite stars, planets, just all sorts of other things. And it was a lot of math and it was really complicated. So anytime that I could just do the noon sight and be fine, that's what I did. When I really, really needed to know our position, then I did the other methods, which are really tedious. 
like super tedious. So that's how I know that you really don't want to have to do those. You want to do the easy way. There's a link down below and you want to click on it because the first 1,000 people to click on that link will get a free trial membership of Skillshare Premium. Don't miss out on this super cool offer. Charlie, what are you doing? I'm doing woodworking. Charlie, you suck at woodworking. Well, where should I get some classes? Have you heard about Skillshare? I have not. Skillshare offers a ton of classes online, including woodworking. Mm, this is okay interesting. What else do they teach? Swimming? Swimming, you say? Bring. I don't think swimming was for me. What other lessons do they offer? I want to know because I'm a bird. I've been taking painting lessons. Mm, I do like art and I love brushes. Yes, brushes, yes. Mm. So check out Skillshare for all kinds of new knowledge and hobbies. Yes, they have online courses and you can sign up by following the link in the description down below. Where? Yes, we birds. <laughs> So by signing up for Skillshare with the link in the description down below, you can get it for super cheap and, and most importantly of all, you learn so much. I mean, think about it. If you like using YouTube videos to learn things, imagine a place that's actually set up for learning. You get online courses and you can learn exactly what you want to learn. Like for example, my human loves all their photography courses. He's looking at all the ones about taking pictures and videos and all sorts of weird stuff. It's like, what are you doing? Why are you looking at so much camera things? What are your intentions with these cameras? So be sure to click on the link in the description down below. That way you get the best price. Because why pay more for learning when you don't have to pay more for learning? I'm a bird and even I know that. Yes. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.